Growing up as a kid in the late 80s, early 90s, who didn't love waking up Saturday morning or getting off school to watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? With one reboot already under its belt, Hollywood figured, hey, what the heck, let's try another one. And on a budget of $135 million, this sequel managed to rake in a cool $245 million at the box office during its run. But as usual, if it didn't make mistakes, we wouldn't be here. I don't know that guy, but I hate that guy. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Movie Mistakes. And as you probably already guessed, we are going to show you 10 goofs that we found in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the shadows. And as always, we gotta give our usual spoiler alert. If you haven't seen the movie, you might wanna do that first. And if this is your first time hanging out with us, welcome. You will see continuation errors, props that move, and things disappear and reappear. Be careful with that, that's my pea shooter. Okay, hold on. Headshot, straight headshot. In this first scene, our heroes are taking the night off to enjoy a Knicks game. So check this scene out as Mikey shoots a spitball at the Falcon. Take note that the Falcon's back is turned and the spitball is going to hit him in the back of the head. One, two, three, oh, 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 are, you, are you okay? But in a very odd set of occurrences, the spitball ends up on his right cheek. Now how is that possible when this cheek wasn't even available? Yeah. Oh, my turn, my turn, my turn. All right, all right, you got this. So sticking with the same scene, the turtles are now celebrating the fact that they humiliated the falcon. But check out Donnie as he celebrates. Notice that he is to the right of Mikey. What happened out there? <laughs> but just a few moments later, Donnie gets a phone call from April O'Neil. And now he is to the left of Mikey who is harassing him. Hey April! Oh, April! Hey! What's up April? Oh nothing, I've been working out. In this scene, we see April O'Neil, played by Megan Fox, steal a skirt. And just a quick FYI kids, stealing is wrong. But keep in mind that she puts the plaid skirt over her black skirt. But just as April walks out of the shop with the stolen skirt, rips her wig off and we get a close up of her legs. Yup, you guessed it, the leggings and the black skirt are now gone. So mistake number four, we're gonna leave it up to you. Check out this image right here as DeAndre Jordan slips on a piece of pizza. And here's the second clip as he begins to fall to the ground. Can you see what the difference is between the two? If so, let us know in the comment section below. I don't know that guy, but I hate that guy. Punch it. So in this scene, April is trying to steal the data that is on Dr. Baxter's tablet. But when Dr. Baxter's assistant shows up, he gives him the tablet, telling him he's off for the night. Step of the way. And Trevor, I'm done working for the day. But just a few short scenes later, we see him arrive at the secret location to finalize the plans to try to rescue Shredder. But what's that he has in his hand? Isn't that the same tablet he gave Trevor a little while ago? These guys are so predictable. So now we're gonna jump to the scene where Casey Jones is escorting Shredder to prison. So take note that Shredder is chained up pretty good, and Bebop and Rocksteady in the background are shackled as well. Oh, not. <laughs> but if we fast forward to the scene where they cut the hole in the truck, you'll notice that Shredder is now unchained. So if Bebop and Rocksteady are still shackled, no one got in the truck, how did Shredder get loose? You think we something to play with? In mistake number seven, we get to witness Bebop and Rocksteady in the bar sharing a brew. But check out Rocksteady's glass. It's a little over half full, wouldn't you say? Shredder out of the picture. Maybe we could step up. 
but as the camera changes angles and consistent with movie magic, his glass is almost half empty. Carve out our own piece of the city. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on? So later on in the movie, we see Shredder shoot Bebop and Rocksteady with the serum. And it's not unusual as Bebop turns into a warthog that he will bust out of his shoes. What is happening to us? I don't know, but this feels great! You're a warthog. Hey, thieves! Yeah, Ever see a rhino? Sure! But just a few moments later when they're banging each other around, you'll notice that Bebop's shoe is now fixed? <laughs> I like it! I'm staying right here. Oh, I'd agree with you, but you're wrong. Here we are in the scene where Casey Jones first meets the turtles. Notice that he's not holding anything in his right hand. Or if he is, we can't see it. Fellas, fellas, and the people in New York need- But the camera switches angles and miraculously he is now holding his hockey stick in a vertical position. It is to set aside our differences and work together. Which begs only one question. How do we get there? If we sneak onto the next cargo plane from JFK. So for our last and final mistake, we get to see Casey Jones and April O'Neil arrested for helping the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles escape. So take a good look at Casey's jacket. It may not be zipped up, but it's definitely closed all the way. Bebop and Roxanne. If you think anything coming out of your mouth is going to add to her. But as the camera angel switches back and forth, his jacket is now in the open position. Your credibility, you are sorely mistaken. Shredder mutated them with the help of Baxter Stockman. And we are ready for action, action, action. So were there any mistakes that you've seen in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the shadows that we didn't see? If so, let us know with the hashtag mistake. Also, don't forget what you'd like to see us do next with the hashtag do. Let us know in the comment section as well. And for more movie mistakes, go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you haven't joined our family yet. On behalf of Movie Mistakes, my name is Lee. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Are you done? Yeah.